Hi guys, so this week we're gonna learn about quadrilaterals. We're going to learn about what is a quadrilateral, types of quadrilaterals, characteristics of each quadrilateral, and lastly, we're gonna have a jeopardy. So what is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is any shape that has four sides. So if you see on the website, all these shapes are part of a quadrilateral. So first of all, we're gonna learn about trapezoid. And trapezoid only has exactly one pair of parallel sides, which are the bases, the, the blue ones, if you see. And none of the angles inside of a trapezoid are equal to each other. So none of the angles you see here are congruent to each other. They're all different um, angles. And the, they are not, per parallel to each other. And the formula for um, trapezoid's area is one half times a plus parentheses a plus b times the height. Next, we have isosceles trapezoid. So for isosceles trapezoid, it's also a trapezoid, but it's different in that um, the legs are congruent to each other. So that's why it's called isosceles. Um, for example, you have isosceles triangle, which also has like um, congruent pairs of legs. So this isosceles um, trapezoid has congruent pairs of legs and the, it still has one pair of parallel sides, which are the bases. The bases are still parallel, even though the legs are congruent, but they are not parallel to each other. And the adjacent angles um, in this, in isosceles trapezoids add up to 180 degrees. And the formula for area of isosceles trapezoid would be the same as just normal trapezoid we talked about. It's still one half times a um, parentheses a plus b times the height. Next, we have parallelogram. So for every parallelogram, the opposite sides are always congruent so for the like the base, like um, the, the line on the top and the side on the bottom, they are always congruent and the side on the left and side on the right, they are all always congruent to each other. And the diagonals from A angle A to angle the other opposite angle A and the diagonal from angle B to the other angle B, the diagonals still would bisect each other. That means that the, the, the diagonals would um, cut each other into half, exactly half. And opposite angles are congruent. That's why we can label um, the angle A here and then the other opposite angle also as A because they are identical to each other. And the adjacent angles add up to 180. So any pair of A and any, pair, any angle A or any angle B, they would add up to 180 degrees. And the area formula for parallelogram would be um, base times height. Next, we have height. It's a rarely seen um, shape in math, but we still have it here because it's held um, quadrilateral. And so for height, it has two pairs of congruent sides. So in this case, it would be ED and DG would be congruent. EF and FG would be congruent. And the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So the diagonal in this case would be EG and DF. And EG and DF would make um, four right angles, which are perpendicular. And the opposite angles at the endpoints of the cross diagon diagonals are congruent. So in this case, it would be the green angles. It would be EFH and GFH. They are congruent but they are cut in half by the diagonal. And um, the area formula for kite would be one half times PQ and um, where PQ would be the diagonals. And now we're gonna move on to like more commonly seen like shapes. 
uh, this is a rectangle. So in a rectangle, the opposite sides, they are equal. As you can see from over here, the two sides, they are all equal. Uh, the opposite sides are also all parallel with each other. The diagonals in a, a rectangle, they bisect each other. So that means they cut like the diagonals, they cut each other in half. And in a rectangle, all the angles are 90 degrees, which they make a right angle. And lastly, for the area of a, a rectangle, it's the length times the width. Now we're gonna move on to another shape. It's called the rhombus. So in a rhombus, like the, all the four sides, they are equal and congruent. The opposite angles are also congruent with each other. The diagonals, they bisect each other and the diagonals are perpendicular, which means that like at the point where the diagonals intersect, they form right angles. And the diagonals, they also bisect the vertices, which is the points D, C, B, and A. That means they cut the, like, the angles into, like, e uh, into two equal angles. And the diagonals are not congruent. The adjacent angles, they are supplementary, which means like um, if like uh, angle D uh, plus angle C, that will equal to 180 degrees. And the uh, area for rhombus is again, same as the kite, it's one half times PQ, which is the two diagonals. And lastly, we have the square. So in a square, all the four sides, they are equal and they are congruent. Like a rectangle, it has like, uh, all the angles are 90 degrees. The diagonals, they bisect each other. Uh, the diagonals are also perpendicular like a rhombus. And the diagonals bisect the vertices like at point A, B, C, D. And the diagonals are congruent. And lastly, the area is the length times the width. So like, as you could see in this diagram, any shape below the branch can be the shape uh, above it. However, any shape above the branch cannot be the shape below it. So for example, uh, as you can see rectangle, uh, is under parallelogram. So rectangle is a parallelogram, but a parallelogram is not a rectangle. The same thing goes uh, for squares. Like squares, it can be both rhombus and rectangles, but like not all rhombus and rectangles are squares. Now let's do some Jeopardy. So a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of equal size. I think that's a um, parallelogram. Mm. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, four equal sides and four right uh, angles. Uh, I think that's a square, right? Yeah. A quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides, one pair of equal size, and no right angles. That's a rhombus. Wait. Wait. Oh, because it's only one pair of parallel oh, yeah. sides. Rhombus have two. Yeah, sorry. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of equal sides, and four right angles. That's a rectangle. Rectangle. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides and four equal sides, but no right angles. Now that's, that's a, a rhombus. rhombus. Right? Yeah, that's a rhombus.
True or false, a rectangle is always a square. Uh, that's mm -hmm. false. Yeah, just like we said, um, the branch under can it can um be the branch on the top, but the branch on the top cannot be the branch under it. Since square is um under the rectangle, the rectangle cannot be a square. Only squares can be a rectangle. Oh. A square is always a rectangle. Yeah, that's correct. A square is always a rhombus. Yep, that is also correct. Mm -hmm. Because square has the features that rhombus has. A rhombus is always a square. Uh, that's not true because a rhombus, it doesn't always have like 90 degrees angles. Mm -hmm. A rhombus is always a parallelogram. That's, That's true. true. Any rectangle with all sides the same length. So how to name that quadrilateral. So that's a square. Correct. One side of a parallelogram is, um, I think they forgot. They missed, to yeah, they missed this yeah. question. And any rhombus with four right angles, that's another square, right? Yeah. Any parallelogram with four right angles, that could be a square or a rectangle. Or a rectangle. Any quadrilateral with uh, opposite sides that are the same length. So that could be a rhombus, a square. And rectangles. Oh, rectangle and, yeah, they all apply because they are like all, like the parallelograms, they all have like a, the opposite sides are all congruent. Which statement is true? A, a trapezoid has two pairs of parallel sides. That's not true because the trapezoid only has one. One pair, B, yeah. Yeah. B, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. That is true. true. A parallel, yeah. C, a square only ha has only two right angles. No, a square has all four angles that are right angles. And D, a rectangle has only five sides. And that's false too, because a rectangle has four sides. So the answer yeah. is B. Mm -hmm. True or false, a rectangle is always a parallelogram. That is true. True or false, a parallelogram is always a rectangle. False. Because it can be like rhombus, it can be a square, it can be other things, or like, you know, it's not always um, a rectangle. True or false, a parallelogram is always a rhombus. That is not true. Yes, that is not true. Like um some like like rectangle, it doesn't always have four equal sides. So it's not always wrong this. Now last question. Can you make a trapezoid of uh, all sides the same length? No. That, that is not possible because the bases are always different and that's why it's called a trapezoid. The bases are always, always different from each other. While the- The bases are the same then it will be like a different shape. Yeah. 
because the legs can be can be the same in the case of um, isosceles trapezoid, but the um, bases are always different, so it cannot be it cannot have all size to be the same length. And that was all for quadrilaterals. Thank you guys.